dearest. Are you sure you won't come out with me? I'm quite sure, thank you, Lucy, dearest. Those stairs would exhaust me. I should like you to meet my cousin, Tom Tulliver. Tulliver? Yes, I dare say I know the name, but then I know half the names of the neighbourhood in a detached sort of way. Stephen, shame on you. I've often talked to you about the Tullivers and Cousin Maggie. I dare say, Lucy. Well, you run along now. I shall, uh... I shall wait down here, keep an eye on father's work, make sure they're not slacking. I shall enjoy that. I don't think they will. Oh, come in, my dear, come in. Tom was just leaving. Hello, Lucy. Has Maggie come to town with you? Uh, no, no, she didn't want to leave father. How is he? Very much the same, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm so sorry. Shall I visit him? Would he like that? Uh, <clears throat> uh, well, Tom, my boy, I think there's nothing more to be said just now. But, sir... Goodbye, my boy, remember me to your mother. <laughs> now, my dear. Oh, father, did you have to dismiss him like that? He was so upset. Hey. You must help him somehow. Promise me you'll try. Well, well, we shall see. The, the boys train for nothing. But I, uh, I might find him a temporary place in the warehouse. Papa, you're a darling. <laughs> Yeah, as a matter of fact, there's a possibility that things could still turn out well for neighbour Tulliver. How? Uh, we, uh, uh, Guest and Co, that is, are putting in a bid for the mill next week. Oh, that's wonderful! Then everything will be all right again. All guests must buy the mill. Things won't be all right in that family for a long time, my dear. But at least they'd not have to lose their...